All right, guys, the first thing we are going to need is 7-Zip. I will leave the link to this page in the description below, and we will use 7-Zip to extract the emulator. Once you have that downloaded, let's head on over to segaretro.org. Link to this page is also in the description below. We're going to scroll down till you see downloads, and this emulator is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I am on Windows, so I'm going to download Kega Fusion version 3.64 for Windows. The emulator has downloaded and I have saved it onto my desktop. Now we need to extract this file. So what we're going to do after you have 7-Zip installed on your PC is right click on it, go to 7-Zip and extract the Fusion 364. Then you're going to get a folder containing all your extracted files so you no longer need the zip file. So let's right click and delete it. Let's open that folder and this file right here will be your emulator. Let's open it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is set up our controller. So let's go up to options, set config, and let's go over to controllers. So port one will be player one's controller. We're going to change this from a three button pad to a six button pad. By default, it's going to be on use keyboard. I am using an Xbox One controller with this emulator. I know that wire controllers will work as well. So we're going to hit the drop down arrow and you should find your Bluetooth or wire controller here. In my case, I am using my Xbox One controller and it is labeled as XI input. Now to map our buttons out, we're going to hit define. And then you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, you'll see press button slash direction or keyboard key to use for up. So I'm just going to push whatever button on my controller that I want to be up. Now it wants down, left, right, A button, B button, C button, start, X, Y, Z, and a mode button. Now you guys can map your buttons out however you like. Now if you have a second controller hooked up to your PC, then go ahead and do the same thing for port 2 for player 2. Once you are done, go ahead and hit apply and OK. Now let's go up to video and we're going to turn on VSync so we get no screen tear. Let's go back up to video, go to full screen resolution and we're going to bump this up to 1080. Now it doesn't take much to run this emulator, so if you don't want to see your FPS displayed on screen while you're playing games, then let's go up to options and go ahead and click show FPS. This will turn it off because it's on by default. And just like that, we are ready to load up a game. So let's go up to file, load Genesis slash 32X ROM. Go ahead and locate wherever your Genesis games are on your PC. I have a folder here on my desktop called Genesis Games. Select the game you want to load. We'll do the Hyperstone Heist. Click on the game and it will load up. Now to go full screen, you can either press Alt and Enter on your keyboard or you can go up to video and full screen. I am in the game and my controls are working. 